Hey guys, how's it going? Been a little while since you've seen this little guy on the channel. This is my 1978 John Deere 316. This is actually, this tractor came from the same dealership when it was new as my 1978 312 did out in Akron, Ohio. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, they both came from the same dealership when they were new, which I thought was kind of cool. So... Previously on the channel, I rebuilt the engine in this tractor. I quote rebuilt the engine in this tractor. I haven't really run it a whole lot since I did that. I want to say I've maybe put close to maybe about three or four hours on this engine since I rebuilt it. Like I said, I haven't really used it a whole lot. So there you go. I want to do an oil change on it today and just look at the oil and see how the engine's been running and if it's full of metal and hopefully the oil in it's fine and there's not really any problems. I also, I'm, there might be some other things I wanna look at on it, but at the moment, there's not really anything that I can think of that comes to mind that needs to be checked. So yeah, there you go. Let's go on ahead and let's get underneath of it. Let's change out the oil. We'll see how the oil looks that comes out of it. Then we'll put new oil in it and we'll see how the new oil holds up and how it runs because it hasn't run in a while. So the first thing that we need to do is check the oil in it. Now, I fully expect it to be down a little bit because normally when you put one of these engines together, they have to break in for a while. And sometimes it is a little bit normal for them to use some oil. So I would expect that. Eh, it's in the middle, it's not horrible. It looks all right. It might even have been the stick wasn't down all the way. I don't know. It's in now. Yeah, it's still in the middle of the stick. So, okay. Not too bad. And the oil looks good, so it's not horrible. However, it did use a little bit of oil, which eh, I kind of expect it. I probably... I more than likely should have put a thicker oil in it than I did, but oh well. Let's go on ahead and let's get the drain plug pulled out of the engine and let's dump the oil and let's see what it looks like. It is also entirely possible that oil might have leaked a little bit out because I've noticed I have seen puddles under it, not huge puddles, just little, little things, but I have noticed them, so that's another thing I'm pointing out. Style of drain does this have? Please tell me it has a bolt and it doesn't have the other thing. Um, yes, it has a bolt. What size bolt is that? I have no idea. We're gonna find out. <coughs> Let's jump up and see if it is quarter inch. That's the first one we're going to check. Really? It's not quarter inch, wait. No, that's the drain pan. Try this guy. This will be. This will be the one. Since we don't have a way to get on it. No. 
So let's see about getting this changed. I went over there and grabbed a, a wrench. Seven six or uh, seven eighths is what it appears to take. So I'm gonna loosen it up until I can take it out by finger. And once we get it to that point, we'll see what exactly we find. That's a weird oil. Plug. If I can get it out without that falling into the little pan, I would really like to do that. Still, oh, there it goes. Still not loose enough to turn. It has been in there ever since the engine was put back together, so I mean, can we get it without making a huge mess? The answer is, oh, we can. Okay, here we go. It doesn't look too bad so far coming out. So we'll let that drain. And then after it's done draining, we'll take a look at it and we'll see what it looks like. So here's the oil from that 316. I went and I finished the tractor draining. So we'll just go on ahead and we'll see what it looks like. I don't really see a lot that's alarming to me. I see a little bit of uh, cloudy over here. However, that's not terrible. It's barely anything if you look at it. I don't see a big metal rainbow anywhere. Now, I would expect to see a little bit of metal in there, especially since that is the, as far as I know, the original oil that I put in it when I rebuilt that motor, you know? So, I mean, I'd expect to see a little bit in there from it running and uh, breaking itself in. So, that should be fine. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go on ahead and set the camera up and I guess we'll put more oil in it. And once we put more oil in that engine, we'll, I don't know, we'll try and see if we can get it to start. So let's see about getting this oil. Oh no, the stick's empty. There's no oil, we're gonna blow up. <laughs> let's see about getting the oil put in. So if you've been around this channel for any extended period of time, you have probably heard me mention the YouTube channel out there called Diesel Creek. He's one of my favorite YouTube channels. I like watching his videos. I actually recommend his videos over mine. If uh, you're looking for somebody that knows what the hell they're doing when it comes to working on stuff, I'd go watch his channel instead of this one. This one's not really all that great in my opinion. Where'd it go? Um, he talks about oil, and I have to repeat what he said because I agree with what he said. There's not really any point in cheaping out on oil. A lot of people do it when they go to change the oil out in their stuff. I like the Shell Rotella. He likes the Shell Rotella. The reason why I like Shell Rotella oil is because it's got the zinc in it, 
and it's good for these older engines that like having zinc. So that's why I use it, and I'm running 15W40 because I've just, I'm not really a huge fan of 30. I don't think 30 weight's thick enough. It just doesn't seem to be as well lubricating as, you know, the thicker stuff is, so that's what I'm running. I have this in my 216 before anybody says you're gonna blow it up. I've ran it with it all summer, and it's ran just fine. So yeah, there you go. And this is a 16 horse. This is the exact same engine as what's in that 216. So I would think if that 216 could survive running 15W40 oil over the summer, we should be able to run it just fine in this guy. So let's let that run down and let's see what we're at. Depending where we're at, I might just put whatever's left in that in there because there's not really a whole lot left in that can. Which is actually what I was planning on doing was putting all of it in. But I thought, well, maybe I should go on ahead and check it just to make sure that we're not over the line. Uh, we are actually right on the full mark. How much is left? Eh, nah, we're not gonna put the rest of that in there. We'll just leave it right on the full mark. So, I'm happy with that. I guess we have extra oil. So, let's go on ahead and let's get the camera back. I'm gonna put a battery in it, we'll put some gas in it, and well, let's see what it does. Well, it's got gas in it, it's got oil in it. What do y'all think? Do you think it's gonna start? Or do you think it's gonna be blowing a rod through the side of the block? I'm gonna go with the second option. Let's set the camera back a little. Let's see what happens. Should go, I think. We got power. Let's see what goes. I want to put a little bit of fuel, I know this is cheating. I want to put a little bit of fuel down that spark for a little. Just to help it prime a little bit better. If I have to, I'll pull the side panel off and we'll give it a little bit of assistance there. Those are public. Mm, it looks okay. Doesn't look horrible. You know, while I'm thinking about it, we should check for sparks. I can have that out. Let me step to this side. See if we got a spark. Oh, we got a spark. So we're good there. So let's dump a little gas on the cylinder, like that, and spill it everywhere while we're at it. Maybe we'll have a nice fire. A little campfire. Let's see if it will start. Ready? Went and grabbed a battery charger. I have one that works and one that doesn't. So I guess we'll find out which one this one is. I think this is the one that works.
better be the one that works. This is the one that was over there. So let's see. Without getting this thing to start. I don't know if it's up or well. Ready? I think a starter needs to be tore down and rebuilt. Ready? It amazes me how low that engine will idle. Let me get some stuff moved out of the way and we'll take it outside and do a little bit of driving.
so long since I've driven that tractor, I forgot how nice it ran. And also how well that hydro works. And yes, it did smoke when I first started it. That's because that gas that I put in it was two-stroke. What I put in the cylinder to get it to go. Because it had been sitting for a little while, but once it burned off the two-stroke, it ran pretty good. There you go. No smoke, no nothing. What a good little runner. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. I think that is going to do it for the day. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. And also, it doesn't have creep. Take care, guys. Bye.